Monday. I am, what am I doing? Planning for 2021. Why? Because I'm working from home and I got nothing better to do. I mean, I got lots of stuff to do, but planning strategically for your next year is pretty important stuff. So I want to talk about, I'm staring, there's a window here. I'm staring wistfully out the window. Hmm. I want to talk about the difference between goal setting and goal achieving. We often talk about how the end of the year is a great time to set your goals for the next year. Of course it is. It's the year turnover. It makes perfect sense. But one of the things that I constantly find people do is they set a bunch of goals and they even follow a formula. Like there's the old SMART goal formula, which stands for, I forget what the S stands for, but M is measurable, A is achievable, T is time sensitive, Gosh, I guess I'm not that smart when I set my goals. Anyways, it's easy to, It's easy to set a goal that even sounds like, yes, I could do this. So for example, let's say that you want to work out. You want to hit a fitness goal. I, I want to run a marathon. Okay, I want to run a marathon. Running a marathon is a pretty specific goal. You're, if you want to get that goal even more dialed in, you're like, okay, I not only want to run a marathon, but I want to train five days a week for it, or I want to run it in a certain time, or I want to run it, you know, I want to run it in June, you know, like you're setting parameters on how you measure the success of the goal. So it's easy. Like you can set a ton of goals, financial goals, personal goals, fitness goals at Mogul. Um, we set our goals in four specific categories. So we set our goals within the context of our organization. We set administrative goals, sales goals. I mean, we're realtors. We want to sell a certain number of houses every year, marketing goals. Um, and then a live, live well goals, which is like personal wellness team connection goals. So those are the four categories. Um, in life, there are more categories than that. You know, you have, uh, your physical fitness, maybe your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with others, um, financial goals, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of different goal categories out there. Oftentimes goal setting at its weakest form is dreaming slash wish listing, which is great. That's a good start. Then as goal setting becomes more specific, you dial in goals. So like, you know, for example, let's use a marathon goal again. I want to run a marathon. Okay. Pretty specific. Less specific is I want to get in shape. Well, what does that even mean? I don't know. I mean, I'm in shape right now. It's kind of round. Thanks COVID. Um, the other, but you want to run a marathon by a certain time. Okay. Now we're getting more specific. So that's goal setting. Goal setting is great. Goal setting is fun. Goal setting is rejuvenating. Goal setting is good for the soul. I like to specialize in goal achieving. And there's a huge threshold that you have to break through when you go from setting a goal to actually achieving a goal. And that's understanding the one resource that equalizes every single person on the planet, which is time. You are setting yourself up for failure if you have five goals that don't have actions associated with them. And then all of a sudden you're in a position where it's like, oh, this goal takes an hour a day. That goal takes an hour a day. That goal takes an hour a day. That goal takes 90 minutes a day. Shoot, I don't have an extra five hours a day. What the heck am I going to do? So that's when we do what I'm doing right now. So here you can see on my one of my monitors here, this is my Outlook calendar. All of my professional goals are now represented in my calendar as standing weekly time blocks that specifically correlate to my professional goals. That's what goal achieving looks like. You plan to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Setting goals is great. Planning to achieve your goals is critical. So just a couple of examples in here. So for me, you know, being the, the leader of the organization, I have on Monday, from 1.30 to 4.30, I'm on the phone. I'm reaching out to the people I need to reach out to, clients, other realtors, strategic business, strategic partners, et cetera, et cetera. On Wednesday morning, we have our Edmonton team meeting. On Thursday morning, we have our Vancouver team meeting. I'm working on a special project with a piece of land. And so I have a two hour working time block on Thursday specifically to work on that one project because getting that project completed is a big goal of mine. Um, I have... 
scheduled in here on Tuesday afternoon, meeting meetings with my top producers on the realty teams because nurturing them to be great realtors is contributes to my goal of having a really successful real estate team, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I have started by inputting all of the time blocks that correlate to me accomplishing my professional goals in 2021. The next thing I'm going to do is I have, I have health related goals that aren't quite as specific. Am I trying to run a marathon? No. Am I trying to not turn into a big fat fatty? Well, yeah. So it's important for me. My goal is to work out four times a week. Great. That's my goal. I don't even know what the outcome is going to be. The outcome is probably going to be me remaining in reasonably good physical condition. Great. So I'm, I, I have a standing workout Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It's a Zoom class with my friends. And then I'm going to plunk in one more workout that's self-directed. Awesome. So now not only do I have a goal, I've got a plan to achieve it. So anyways, I was just thinking about that because it's what I've been up to all weekend. I've been setting budgets for the organization. I've been creating my strategic plan. And then I've been putting my strategic plan into my weekly calendar so that instead of sitting there with no know-how of like, oh, what am I supposed to be doing today? I don't know, some stuff, I guess. It's like, no, the thing I'm going to do today is all of these specific activities and specific time blocks that are going to contribute to me accomplishing my goal. That's how we do it. So two reasons I'm talking about it. Number one, because I'm literally doing it right now. But number two, um, at Mogul Mastermind on Wednesday, which is a couple days from now, check the link in the description, I'm going to be doing a one hour 2021 prep session where we're going to talk about how to set goals and then talk about how to plan to achieve them. So something that I do every year, I'm just going to share my process with you guys. Um, it's a process that takes me several days. Uh, so hopefully I can explain it succinctly in an hour. And, you know, for those of you that are really passionate about making 2021 a great year and you really want to accomplish some cool stuff, I'll share with you my process for how I consistently accomplish things. And um, hopefully some of that is interesting, if not helpful for you. So I'd love it if you tuned in. It'd be great to see you there. And um, yeah, COVID, a lot of free time to do a lot of planning. So this is the first year that I'll have all of my strategic 2021 planning done before Christmas. Kind of a nice feeling. Um, it'll allow me to take a load off on what will undoubtedly be the quietest, most relaxing Christmas ever. Thanks. Thanks, quarantine. Thanks to all you guys for watching and uh, have a good one.